Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to do a movie recap, regarding a 2012 science fiction, horror film entitled, Prometheus. Warning. Spoilers ahead. I hope you enjoy the movie recap. The movie starts a millions of years ago, a spacecraft of an advanced humanoid alien race, arrives on a primordial planet, possibly Earth. One of the aliens consumes a dark liquid, causing its body to disintegrate and its DNA to break down and finally fall into a nearby waterfall. Then, we see its DNA recombine, seeding the planet with the building blocks of life. In the year 2089, on the Isle of Skye off the shore of Scotland, archaeologist couple Elizabeth Shaw, played by Numi Rapace, and her boyfriend Charlie Holloway, played by Logan Marshall Green, discover a star map in a cave, which they record among the remnants of several, otherwise unconnected ancient cultures. They interpret this as an invitation from humanity's forerunners. A deep sauce research vessel called the USS Prometheus. Follow the map to the distant moon, several light years from Earth. The ship's crew travels in hibernation stasis at light speed. While the android, David, played by Michael Fassbender, stays awake at the pilot control, to monitor their entire voyage. In 2093, the ship arrives in the orbit around LV-223. After being awakened from hibernation, the crew are gathered by Meredith Vickers, played by Charlize Theron to inform the crew of the holographic message. The holographic message is from Peter Whalen, played Guy Pierce, who tells them about his funding for the mission, and that he has since died. Whalen also informs everyone that, Charlie and Elizabeth are in charge of the mission. The duo explain that the mission is to find the ancient aliens, in a planet similar to Earth, LV-223. The duo call the ancient aliens as engineers, who may be the creators of the human race. Later on, mission director Vickers, orders them to avoid any direct contact, and to return if the aliens are found. The Prometheus enters the atmosphere of the planet, encountering turbulence, which dissipates when they break through the cloud cover and can see the surface. The Prometheus lands near an alien structure, resembling a large temple-like pyramid. A team including Shaw, Holloway, and David explores the alien structure. While Vickers and Captain Yannick, played by Idris Elba, remain aboard the ship and monitor their progress. Inside the pyramid, they discover a pocket of breathable air. As they progress deeply inside the alien structure, they view archive footage of holographic engineers running. The group started to chase after them to find a decapitated corpse of a giant alien, thought to be one of the engineers. In a dank chamber that David unlocks, they find a monolithic statue of a humanoid head, ancient mural, and hundreds of cylinder-like artifacts. Suddenly the atmosphere inside the alien structure changed when the chamber was opened. Shaw insists to take engineer's decapitated head back to the ship. Meanwhile, David secretly return a cylinder to the ship, while the remaining cylinders in the chamber, begin leaking a dark fluid. They barely make it back alive because of the approaching storm, but David rescues the couple when they're about to be blown off the loading platform. The other crew members Milburn, and Fifield, got stranded in the pyramid structure, after becoming lost trying to find the way out. In the ship, Shaw and Medic Ford analyze the engineer's head, removing a heavy helmet with David's help. Using an electrified needle, they bring the head temporarily back to life. However, exposure to the breathable atmosphere, causes the severed engineer's head to decompose rapidly, and it disintegrates. Later on, as they examine the remains, they discover that its DNA, is identical to that of the human race. Meanwhile, David investigates the cylinder, and discovers several ampules, containing a viscous black fluid. The crew of Prometheus discuss the meaning of life, the android David questions why he was created by man. David intentionally infects Holloway with the substance he found within the ampule, hiding it in a drop of liquid on his finger and briefly dipping it into a glass of champagne. Holloway drinks to celebrate their discovery. Back inside the structure, Milburn and Fifield see a snake-like creature emerge from a pool of the black fluid, that has leaked from the cylinders. When Milburn tries to examine the creature, it quickly grabs his hand, and wraps itself around his arm, breaking it in a matter of seconds. When Fifield tries to cut it off, a yellow acidic blood from one of the creatures, melts Fifield's helmet, exposing him to the dark liquid leaking from the cylinders. The creature then works its way into Milburn's suit, and forces itself down his throat. Holloway later looks in a mirror, and sees his eyes are changing, they are roomy, and he sees a small, silver worm-like organism emerge from one of his corneas. 
The next morning after the storm subsides, the Prometheus crew returns to the structure. David discovers a room, containing a living engineer in stasis. He watches, as holograms of the engineers activate a navigational system and a holographic star map highlighting several distant planetary systems appear. One of the planets that eventually appears, is Earth. Suddenly the system shuts down, leaving the hologram of Earth behind. David finds a single engineer in a nearby stasis pod, and can hear its heart beating. Meanwhile, the crew finds Milburn's corpse. While, Holloway's infection rapidly ravages his body, and he is rushed back to the ship. As he visibly deteriorates, Vickers refuses to let him aboard, citing quarantine protocols. When he approaches Vickers, begging her to kill him, she burns him to death with a flamethrower. Shaw is devastated, as she sees the death of her lover. A medical scan reveals that Shaw, despite being sterile, is pregnant. David subdues her, in order to return her to Earth in stasis. Shaw escapes from the crew, and goes to Vickers' quarters to use an automated medical surgery pod, to extract the creature inside her while she is still conscious inside her abdomen, is a horrific cephalopod-like creature. Shaw finds a way to subdue the creature and save herself. Meanwhile, a mutated Fifield is discovered just outside the hangar bay, and attacks and kills several crew members, before being killed. Going back to Shaw, who found Wayland to have been in stasis aboard the ship. Wayland explains to Shaw that, he intends to ask the engineers to help him, avoid his impending death. Yannick goes to Shaw, and tells her what he theorizes, that the moon they are on was used by the engineers, as a military base until they lost control of their biological weapons, namely the cylinders, and the black fluid they contain. It was also revealed, that Vickers is, Wayland's daughter. The remaining crew return to the structure, which is discovered to be a spaceship, and awaken the engineer. David speaks an alien language to the engineer, asking him why they made mankind, and asking him to extend the life of his own creator, Mr. Wayland. The engineer responds by ripping his head out, and killing Wayland and Ford. Shaw escapes from the alien ship, as it is activated by the engineer. The still active David suggests, the engineer is going to release the ampules of black fluid on Earth, thus killing every living creature in the planet. Vickers orders Yannick to return to Earth, but Shaw convinces him to stop the engineer's ship. Yannick, and his two surviving crewmen take off, and crash the Prometheus into the engineer's ship. The disabled engineer ship crashes onto the planet, falling onto Vickers, crushing her. Shaw barely escapes being crushed herself. Shaw goes to the escape pod to retrieve supplies, and finds that her aborted but still alive alien offspring, has grown to gigantic size. The engineer survives the crash, enters the escape pod, and attacks Shaw, who releases the tentacled creature. It subdues the engineer by, thrusting an ovipositor, down its throat. Shaw believes she's stranded on the planet until David contacts her, and tells her that, there are more of the engineer's ships elsewhere on the planet. She recovers David's remains from the alien ship, and agrees to help each other to look for engineer's home world, in an attempt to understand why they created humanity, and why they later attempted to destroy it. Together, they travel towards the engineer ship, and activate it. The movie ends in Vickers' escape pod, an alien creature bursts out, of the dying engineer's chest. I hope you enjoy another episode of our movie recap. Until next time.